Hey everybody, how's it going? I figured for this live stream we could start out by testing all these different custom-made skate parts that have been created in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 Plus 2, or 1 and 2, the remastered version. And if I'm feeling like it afterwards, maybe we'll do another playthrough for one of the skaters. But I noticed after the last time I live streamed that we never really messed with any of these custom maps in the create a park mode. So I figured we'd check that out and see if there's any cool maps in there that are worth playing. Um, this one here, I have played this one before. This one's actually pretty cool. I completed one of my challenges in the game by doing this, by doing this one. This is gonna this is gonna take a second to get used to again. But yeah, this is pretty much a a, a roller coaster type map. So you go through this line here, and then you can jump and grind here. You just keep grinding like that and like that. Yes! Whoa. Oh, oh. Ah, yeah. Literally like that. You know, I'm kind of curious. Let me see what the biggest combo I can get for that. So let's hop back on. We begin the grind. Oh shit, <laughs> I didn't know my combo was that spent. <laughs> my uh, grind meter instantly failed there. <laughs> okay. Um, what's this one right here, achievement? I think this one's clickbait. Can I keep a combo? Nope. There's literally no point in that, uh, those ramps there. I think this level's clickbait. Somehow it was the high, one of the highest rated maps. OK, 
Okay, I've already done it waterfall, but it's been a while, so let me do this one again. Because the only custom maps I've tried were the roller coaster one and waterfall. I see what they did. Like why it's called waterfall, but it's nothing really special. Okay, let's go back. by and check out the view. This is kind of trippy. It almost looks like a school. <laughs> Yeah, that one's not too crazy.
Let's see what this one's like. Just knocking out challenges left and right. How long did this take somebody to make? Yeah, we probably won't be messing around with these custom-made parks that long. There really aren't a lot of crazy parks here. I'd say the, the coolest one that I've done has been the roller coaster one, that's it. I kind of like this loop though, it's pretty cool. You know, there's probably some cool manipulations you can probably make to pieces in this game because you can warp them just about any way you want. You could probably come up with all sorts of crazy stuff, but I'm just not seeing that. Not a whole lot of people um, not a whole lot of parks are completely blowing me away. I want to show you guys the custom park I made. 
real quick, and then we'll get to work with uh, Jeff Raleigh, our next guy we're going to be working on for the... Uh, Um, what should we call it? So like the whole, the, what am I trying to say? Hey. Oh, okay. Uh, for just like completing all the goals. Hey. Oh. Yeah. So this one's nothing special. It's just the one that I created when I had time for myself one day, one day. I was just toying around with different options, like stuff I can do to manipulate objects and all that. Oh shit. I'm stuck in my own creation. Oh god. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Son of a bitch. But you can grind the top of this. See, told you. on this railing for a little bit. It's just a continuous loop. And then I created some platforming. Is every single Good skate park needs some platforming. It took me a while with manipulating all these pieces. And then I, mod I pretty much modified a ramp so it could do this. Yeah! Biggest ramp ever.
Hey, <laughs> figure eight the boob. That's just a bigger circle right there. And then the last piece is this. If I can grind it correctly, actually. And then it's supposed to circle around, just keep going this way, and then into this half pipe. But yeah. That's my maps. So we'll go ahead and do Jeff Rowley's uh, skate tour. So we'll start with, surprise, we're not starting with Pro Skater 1 this time, we're starting with Pro Skater 2. I figured just to mix it up, that's what we'll do for the next few times I live stream me doing the uh, career playthroughs and all that. Just realized how much harder that gap is when you don't have any stat points. <sighs> Hold it off. Oh my goodness. Is it just one? Okay, yeah, it's just one more. All right. Let's do it again, because... Um, still need to get that stat point, and I suck it. Ooh, I wonder if I can get it doing that.
I don't know what my plans are for this series. If I plan on doing a live stream for every single skater that, for every single so, skater solo tour, or what the deal is. I don't know what the end game is. But people sure do like it because a lot of my videos, I need to go this way. A lot of people sure do like it though because a lot of because most of my videos, my live streams of me doing solo tours have been getting quite a bit of views. More views than most of my live streams, so I'm doing something right. Could have gotten the secret tape if I didn't bail and lose my speed. Oh, that's right, I missed a bell too. Not a good idea because I have no speed, nothing. So we're not going to get up that way. Uh, 
I don't think I can get up this way either. Oh, nope, I think I can. Ah. Yep. I had the height. stat point on this level. I bet it's in the place that I unlocked too. Except I don't know if it's still unlocked. Okay, yeah, it's so once you open it, it's still open. it stays open. How do you pronounce this town? Marseille? Marseille? Is it Marseille? I think it might be Marseille. I think they engineered it where it's more beneficial to play the first Tony Hawk game before the uh, second one. That was risky.
I don't know why I keep the 360 barrel McTwist as an option because I always, I oh, just about always, I bail trying to land that trick. Anything that involves spins, I just simply can't do. Unless if it's a flip trick, because the flip trick has to be something simple, so that way I have time to correct myself before I eat shit. It really is a shame, though, that you guys can't hear the music in the back in the background of this. Ah, I didn't even boneless there. Come on, big boy. Uh-oh. I knew we were in trouble the moment I did that. Oh my goodness. Come on, Jeff. Get your British butt up there. Oh, ha what? Okay. Oh my goodness. I think I'm jumping too late. I did it too early. Get the A. This is probably my favorite level. Well, I don't know. Either this or Hangar is my favorite level in this Pro Scare 2. But the thing that doesn't really help make this level that good is the stupid jump that I have to make. Because I stopped grinding at one point. Ah, 
I was close to getting all the goals there. <laughs> the, the thing said, am I a joke to you? Well, it depends. Who are you? Then I'll answer that question. do hope that they go back and remaster the rest of the Tony Hawk games at some point. Like, even even the ones that didn't do well, like Project 8 and Proving Ground. I think it'd be great to see those games remastered. I think I have the stat points. All of them, but just in case, and do one less look around. I've already completed some of the challenges for Jeff Raleigh. This, the mainly like the specialty skater challenge where you have to do all of his signature specials in one combo. I've already done those, but the ones that are level specific, those I have not done yet. So of course we'll have to do those once I'm done going through the levels here. Well, maybe after this uh, run right here, I'll see what there is and then do a conscious effort to remember to do those along the way. bizarre.
Oops. Yeah, let's finish this level. In some instances you can you can bullshit the gaps. Well, not so much in this game, but in like Project 8 you can bullshit the gap and it will give it to you. Right there, that would have counted if that was Project 8. Oh my god, that counted. Yeah! Oh shit, that wasn't the gap. I'll open up a can on your butt. The funniest part about this, too, is that the fact that there's a bum here at Venice Beach is so like modern day.
stat points, uh, sweet thickness. And a 20,000 point combo using the walkway rail trans gap and skate park with no gaps. Reverse Yeah, we'll get to that at some point. A lot of these gaps I'm sure I'm going to have to look up. I overshoot it. score <laughs> 92 flat holy shit I don't think I've ever gotten a flat score like that to bring it home. Yeah! Woohoo! 
Boom. I'll tell you what though, I can't promise that I'm going to do a live stream in this game often. Cause it's gonna be a it's gonna be a whole project. Like it's gonna take a lot of time to get to that point where I finish doing all the solo tours. So if I keep doing live streams, it probably wouldn't be for a while. It'd probably be once every blue moon. What was that grunt? <laughs> Oof, come on, Jeff. Oh, no. Yeah, it's it's not happening. I thought I could get all the goals in one run here. Oh my goodness. There we go. I, ha I always have the most difficult time doing lip tricks. I don't know why.
If I could just have you be my, be my. Easy combo. Oh wow, so you don't even have to completely beat the game to unlock uh, Chopper Drop and Skate, Skate Heaven. Moving over to first scare one. Uh, these Pro Skater 1 levels are going to be so much easier now. Because I have my main stat points maxed out. Oh my god, that part was so easy. Boom, baby. Only need a minute.
Look on the right at the close up of the of the bear's stomach. He's got a tattoo of a bear on him. That's some serious bear section right there. up so high that I shot down like a rocket and busted my ass. I couldn't even land the Misty Flip because I went up so high. No, I didn't get all the bells. Oh man, that's probably one of my best attempts on of completing all the goals in one run there. I think I just had one stat point, um, two bells left. It was all of right there. There's another stat point. What's the challenge for this level again?
30,000 point combo using the long rail gap and maul with only flipping grind tricks. 30,000 flipping grind tricks. Long rail gap. Do I have that one? I do not have that one. The long rail gap. Oh. I wouldn't even consider that a rail. That's a that's a ledge. Oh gosh. I almost did it again, too. that up even more. I thought I could do like a pull Yui. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to do right there. Have gone better. Yeah.
the walkway rail trans gap. Walkway rail trans. Walkway rail trans gap. I have not done that one yet, apparently. I love how everything is just at the touch of your, just at the tip of your fingers. You just type whatever you want and you can find it on YouTube. Who figured that one out? Oh my goodness, that was a horrible run. that don't give me grief for once. How about that? Now we can just relax and get the rest of the goals and stat points and we're good. I didn't even, ch I just realized I didn't even change rally his uh, outfit. Oh well. 
I'm committed now. I've gotten used to his uh, to his looks. Who knows? Maybe his other outfits aren't that good. Get up. Oh, I was just inside. That's what she said. What she said. I didn't even get all the parts cars. Wow, I literally did nothing that time. I got the street signs and skate, but I literally did nothing other than that. three parked cars, that's why. I don't know why I thought there was two. Okay, I got all the cars. I was like, did I grab it? I can't remember. Got it.
Oh, wow. I don't know what happened there. I almost got in or something. Gosh, I gotta stop with the sexual innuendos. I almost got in. Whatever the one I was, or I was talking about earlier. Something about penetrating, I bet. I guess it helps if uh, you do the gap, you know. Now I gotta figure it out because my stats are too, ma are too maxed out. Oh yeah. Boom. Gotta do a late Ollie. so cringy to go back and watch my old playthroughs of me trying to do the goals in this game because I'd be like getting one goal per game or per uh, run and it's like so cringy to watch because I know I'm much better than that.
Oh no, it's right there. Surprisingly, but one of my better run threes, I have to say. Oh, I wasn't even close to completing it, though, because I missed that hard hat right there. Okay, so I feel better. I would have... I would have been really shocked if I actually made that, and then I was like, Where's the other one? Honestly, get rid of the variant twist because it's gonna fuck me over all the time. <laughs> Either that or my stupidity.
Like it just blows my mind that it had to be a three part live stream for me to beat the game. Several hours too, when I can just do it easily in two hours. Well, I got 20 minutes left to meet my mark. Honestly, when I started, when I started doing, like going through those um, custom made maps, I didn't think that I would still have time to get to 100% uh, the solo tours and everything for Jeff Rowley. But nope. I... It looks like I'm going to do it under two hours. Because I just have streets. And uh, Roswell, and that's it. I love how he's so like pumped up about everything. He's like, oh. I think I could do a, flaw a more flawless run than that. Oh. Boom. That's the best run I've had on streets. Just got uh, like one or two stat points left, and I gotta get the secret tape. calculation. Oh, I just, for that brief moment when I was airborne, I, not only did I see the Golden Gate Bridge, which I'm pretty sure I've seen before, but it, 
in the distance, I actually saw Alcatraz, too. Could that be a hint? Could there be an Alcatraz in the works? I think so. Oh yeah, plenty of time. I got 15 minutes. I don't know what everybody's favorite Tony Hawk game is. I'm curious to see a poll for that. Like what the community would say is their top Tony Hawk games of all time. Of all time. I don't know what the fuck just happened there. But for me, it would be Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Just because I love the story mode. It's perfect. The whole World Destruction Tour bit between Team Hawk and Team Ban. Bam. The levels were amazing. Soundtrack was amazing. And to and on top of that, so like the the concept of like the everything was cool. Like you're causing as much destruction as possible. So you're doing all these different tasks and all that. But on top of that, they also brought back Classic Mode. That was the first Tony Hawk that brought back Classic Mode since the Pro Skater days. And they did a hell of a job with that too, because not only did they do it for the maps that were in Underground 2, but they also had, they also brought back old remastered Tony Hawk maps as well as some new ones, like the Triangle. All in all, it was a solid game. The soundtrack was good too. A lot of memorable songs on there. Less Than Jake, uh, The Explosion. Um, of course, there's Frank Sinatra, Johnny Cash. Just all sorts of different songs. Rancid. Cinematics were amazing. Like that that was it. That was when I think Tony Hawk, the Tony Hawk series peaked the most. Oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> Whoops. I meant to end competition. I went to quit instead. Oh well, still got time. But yeah, not only did I have time to screw around and look at custom levels, but I even had time for mulligans like that, where I end up quitting the level before I even finish the skate competition. Now a close, a close Tony Hawk game that was pretty good, 
um, because of the story, the soundtrack was, it was another one, oh god, it was another one of those uh, games with an amazing soundtrack, um, it was Tony Hawk's Underground, the uh, first one, the story was good and everything, um, there was no classic mode, it was just all story. Uh, there were a bunch of neat little Easter eggs that they added into the game and all that. I love it, because I think it's got a pretty good story. But, yeah, I wouldn't say that that one's the best. Although a lot of people would say that that one is the best one. I almost did it again. Woo! We did it, guys. We did it. it. Time stamp it, hour 50. Woo. That one's not bad. That one's just a camo board. I'll go the rally one. See, that's that's what what I would have rolled with. All right. So done with Jeff Rally. Who we got next up? Ah, Kareem Campbell. Yeah. Yeah, we are done with him. Okay, so we got Kareem Campbell next. So yeah, at some point we'll tackle his solo tour, but um, for now, we're just going to leave it at that. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching the live stream, and I will catch you all later. See ya.